What's up, man? It's King Carlos here, bro. Um, Slim 400. Another, another rapper, man. It's fucking, just a fucked up situation. Another fucked up situation. I said this the first time Slim got shot. The first time when he got shot up. He got hit like a few times. I said, dude represents LA in a, a real ass way. Dude's a real LA native. Um, a real blood from the set, the set he's from, the section he's from, represented the city right and making money. Dude, you have to get, I know this is gonna sound crazy with everything I just said, this next thing is gonna sound crazy. You gotta get out of the city. When you really are the embodiment of what your city represents and you really holding it down, bro, that shit is, that shit is gonna go a long way as a local rapper, but as soon as you blow up, you gotta leave, bro. I mean, that's when, that's whenever the hate, like, even though it's, I'm not, I, I, like, Slim 400 had a fan base, dude. He might not have had a huge fan base maybe that you you know about or I knew about like that, and we might not have heard a lot of Slim 400 songs, but Slim 400 had a fan base. YG was doing excellent. Um, always gave to do. He always gave him proper promotion, always held him down when it came to putting him on features and shit like that. Slim 400 really built a good following for himself. Huge following for himself. Dude had hella features with guys like Dolph, not just Dolph, Mozzie. Niggas was, niggas was putting in work, bro, with Slim 400. A lot of different artists he, he did, he did uh, songs with, man. Uh, I think he got song, a song with Hot Boy. I'm not even for sure. I know he. I know he got some songs. I've heard some for 100 on a few songs, bro. A few features. So I know he has his own records because he has his own flow and his own cadence. So I know he has his own records out and stuff like that, bro. But when you represent the city like that in a way, in a real way, really getting to the bread, bro. And I don't know bullshit. And I don't know fake shit, bro. Not um out here trying to to be cool with certain individuals that you know there's no love between no love between y'all you know there's no you don't rock with them and not even on they like they're bad individuals you know y'all y'all soft don't mix it wouldn't be no point bro so not forcing anything bro uh and then standing on business when he got shot bro not leaving and saying like it's his home it's his hood he loved the hood so much and he got taken out by the very words that it's 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 fucked up bro and people, I, I've seen people talking about the turnout when he got killed. A lot of people wasn't out there. That doesn't mean people don't love him. Just because that now somebody dead and they surround the body, bro, that's hatred. Young Dolph was hated in Memphis more than he was loved. So just because you see all those people around it, that's because now he's gone. See, a motherfucker ain't going to give you your credit. Who the these people are weird as fuck, man. In my apartment, they just be walking by looking like, nigga, don't look at my shit. I'm using I'm using my window as light, guys, but this motherfucker, <laughs> these strange motherfuckers just walking. Like, nigga, get the, come on, man, move. Get the fuck out the way, lady. I ain't trying to be mean, lady, but move. Man, you messing up my concentration. But like I said, uh, Young Dolph was hated more in Memphis than love. People don't want to give you your credit while you're here. So when you hear all that, like Nipsey, bro. Nipsey has so many haters in the industry, bro. Nipsey, like, man, when Nipsey said rap niggas, it was a lot of niggas he was, rap niggas he was talking about blowing that record. That's what people don't know about Nipsey, bro. He had love for a lot of L.A. rappers, Crip and Blood. But Nipsey was one of them niggas like he knew that I, I'm not gonna say he didn't respect gangbanging out of LA the way Wack 100 just comes out and says he don't respect gangbanging out of LA. But I know Nipsey Hustle in a in a way kind of wanted to check a nigga temperature on that shit because LA is the place of home of gangbanging, bro. But that don't mean anything. I'm from the south, my nigga. It's real gangbangers all over the world. I know from the south we got real gangbangers out here that are fuck niggas in LA over. But I know that Nipsey Hustle had that way of thinking, so he wanted to check a nigga temperature on that gang shit, bro. So it was a lot of niggas that didn't like him off that. Um, and I could get where that comes from because you, because it's like nobody's story is the nobody's story is the nobody's story in life is the blueprint to real nigga and being a real nigga and being you know what I'm saying. So that's why a lot of niggas have they that that, that kind of taste in their mouth about them in that regard. But besides just the gang banging shit, bro, Nipsey Hustle talked up like when you just a person of good spirit and good morals and mother a lot of motherfuckers who do dirty shit to get on top. They can't stand you when you view you use honor. You went morally by a code, bro. You didn't switch. You didn't switch up on none of your homies. He keeps it business. He not out here dissing niggas or nothing like that. It's niggas that he kept subliminals. Really, that rap nigga song was him responding to niggas that's been dissing him. A lot of niggas has been holding their nuts on him. I know he's been out here asking for feature. Shout out Jay-Z that gave him the, the mixtape thing. But Jay, to me, that was Jay-Z showing love. But between that and like, I'm going to say Rick Ross back on the Crenshaw record. Uh, of course, I think Currency fuck with Nip, uh, T.I. I don't really know if he was cool with T.I. and like that. I think that was just that, like, the Meek Mill and stuff like that. Like, a lot of that came into him being cool with... A lot of those relationships, I think, developed with him being cool with Jay or him signing the Rockefeller and shit like that. I'm not... I don't know. I'm not saying that he might not have been cool with those people organically, but just... You know what I mean? 
um, damn, I'm making a shit down there video about Nipsey, but you guys know, you guys get what I mean, bro, in a way that when you hold it down, you respect it like that, you really stand in on business, and when you come out here and say something, you open your mouth, and you know people listening, you don't say bullshit, bro. You keep it a hundred on shit. You know, like, like I'm slim for a hundred. These niggas or Nipsey, these niggas aren't Ar Ar like Aristotle or um, fucking Aristotle, but nigga. We got greater black minds, bro. You got these niggas aren't Edward. I'm trying. I don't know any black scientists off the top of my head, but you guys understand what I mean. I shouldn't bring I shouldn't bring that into the equation anyway. A great mind is a great mind. Let me not take anything away just because what somebody race did to my people. So let me not take credit off them, but that's what they do to us. I'm a, we're better people than that. I'm a better person than that, bro. So, but you know, these guys weren't just the greatest minds, rock doing rocket science or nothing like that. They were musicians, but at the same time, they inspired people, bro, with their fucking, with they, their philosophies and their actions, just like great scientists and great minds, bro. I think they're just, we're the same, my nigga. That we don't have to, they don't have to, we don't have to study the same thing. You know what I'm saying? But be a part of, it, you know what I'm saying? You guys get what I mean, bro. But um, RP Slim, RP Slim 400, man. It's a fucked up situation, dude, bro. And it's sad because dude just was coming out talking about Dolph. That's what's making a lot of these things like look like sacrifices. Even with the Dolph shit, when you go back and look at that paper out Illuminati record, what's that record he came out with, bro? The one we're here talking about some uh, Jay Fizzle was there when we didn't have shit. When he was like, "Well, I sacri if I sacrifice myself, will I go to hell?" Like those type of records and shit like that. And then these guys mentioning these guys after they die getting taken out. That's what brings in that sacrifice conspiracy. And a lot of it, guys, is sacrifice. But to tell the difference, you have to look at who's going to come up. Like, when it's a sacrifice, guys, someone comes up, bro. Someone comes up off that. Somebody profits off that. Like, after the sacrifice, they mourn, and then a, a star is boosted up off that, right? Like a, like a replacement, a sick replacement that these guys do. But you guys let me know what y'all think about this video.